What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and today we're going to be taking a look at The Judge as part of my Does It Suck series. The Judge is a unique Jacob's pistol that drops from Assassin One in South Boss Demon Power and Digistruct Peak. This particular pistol is always going to spawn with the TDR barrel, which gives it the look of a purse gun. If we look at it in comparison to the iron here, which is the only non-unique Jacob's pistol that I would imagine anyone using, and it's with the Jacob's barrel, we'll notice that the judge has significantly decreased damage in comparison to the iron, and the rest of the stats are pretty similar. Accuracy is just a little bit different, but that probably won't matter in practice. Fire rate is different, but with them both being semi-automatic weapons, you're not really going to notice that in the field. Reload speed's exactly the same, and magazine size is one smaller on the judge. However, the judge does have a critical hit damage listed there on the card. I believe that that critical hit damage comes in a slightly weird place in the formula, which makes it behave a little bit differently with certain skills. But with this fully built out skill build and a legendary killer class mod, I was noticing that I was getting a little bit over 10% less damage using the judge than I was using the iron against the sanctuary test dummy. And if I was using a citrine skinned iron, the gemstone version from the fourth DLC, the judge would be even further behind. So basically it's 10% worse or a little over 10% worse than the iron in practice. Um, and we'll see if we're able to use it here in the Washburn refinery and see how we do. Now with it being, you know, just slightly worse than the iron, um, it's probably not gonna suck for us. We, we will probably be able to kill things fairly easily with it, you know, um, and we'll see how that actually works out. We'll see if that lack of damage there is especially noticeable, but um, I know that the iron is a plenty powerful weapon in its own right, and because of that, I expect that the judge will actually do okay. Um, it's not like it's going to be incapable of killing things by any means. It's just not going to be spectacular at it either, and I don't think it's supposed to be spectacular at it. Obviously, the first time you find One, it is pretty early in the game, and um, I think that this is meant to be sort of as a one-off weapon. A weapon that you find that kind of introduces you to Jacob's pistols, because obviously Assassin One is respawning, he occurs early in the game and stuff, and you're able to get this weapon quite early. And so, I think it's just meant, you know, kind of as an introduction to Jacob's pistols, and a weapon that you can get pretty early that you can start experimenting with, and deciding whether or not you like certain types of weapons. Now, it's, like I said, it's not going to be bad, it's just not good. Especially when there are much better Jacob's Pistols that exist. The Iron, especially the Maggie, and, you know, even the Citrine Skinned Iron are going to be a lot better. Even the Law, you know, with its special effects and damage that is similar to the Judge, is going to be a better weapon than the Judge is. But, I mean, the judge is plenty capable of actually killing things, so, I don't know, it's hard to say that it sucks, more or less, but it's definitely not great. Um, it's not going to have enough power for us to actually get one shot, one kills, it doesn't look like. And that's a, that's something that definitely hurts the weapon in practice, I would say. Um, if it was actually capable of scoring one shot, one kills, that'd be really nice, but um, it's... It's lacking a little bit to do that, even in Deception, and that's pretty poor. Um, if it could do that, it would be hard for me to say that it sucks. Because it can't do that, I might go ahead and cl classify this as a quote-unquote suck weapon, because obviously that is something that would make it a lot more survivable to use. If you could actually kill something in one hit, you could strategize and prioritize enemies a little bit differently. Um... But you can't do that, and because of that, it's, you know, pretty poor overall, I would say. I know that the iron, with the citrine skin at least, is actually capable of scoring one-shot, one-kills on enemies with perfect scenarios, and this one is lacking of that, and that's something that definitely hurts this weapon. We'll take it up to the badass and see if we're able to deal with him without us, you know, running into too many problems here, but... Basically, the Judge is a very lackluster gun. It's not as if you can't kill things with it, but it's just not great. But like I said, um, it's not meant to be an overly powerful in-game weapon by any means. It's just supposed to be a weapon that you find early in the game. And early in the game, it's definitely going to be 
you know, plenty potent when you don't have too many top tier weapons or anything like that. It's going to be more than capable of actually uh, knocking enemies down and stuff like that. So I think I hit a critical hit there with my deception shot and it didn't even knock off his arms and that is pretty bad. Go ahead and get some eye shots on him here. Wow, that extra slag transfusion grenade I threw didn't slag him. That was a shame. Jump that little one there. Throw one more slag transfusion grenade and we'll kill this guy. So as you can see, it is quite lacking against the badass loader there. Um, I traditionally really like Jacob's pistols, but the ones I like are the Iron and the Maggie and against flesh enemies, the Greed. But... You know, that is, in reality, a rather small slice of the total Jacob's Pistols, and that's because, really, the Maggie and the Iron and the Greed are the only ones that I can really imagine using. I'm trying to think if there are any... I guess the Law is kind of fun to use in its own way, but for the most part, these weapons are all inferior to the Maggie and the Iron with no real reason to use them. It's not like they're super varied or have a whole bunch of special effects among Jacob's Pistols or anything like that. They're all pretty straightforward weapons. I mean, the Greed has a fire element, the Maggie's got the masher effect, and the rest of them shoot straight and, you know, without, without any special effect or anything like that. So, they're not an incredibly complex weapon group. But... They're okay. So it was announced that the sniper character in Borderlands the pre-sequel, Arulia, is coming out now. And that's interesting because I didn't really like Athena as much as I thought I would like Athena. And obviously I didn't like Nisha at all because of that stupid auto-aim nonsense. And um, Claptrap just seemed a little bit too random for my liking. I understand that there are some people that did like Claptrap and stuff. The doppelganger did look interesting, but truth be told, I never really got around to playing him. Um, and Wilhelm just looked, you know, kind of boring to me. I'm not a huge fan of pet classes, so... Um, Aurelia may be the character that finally gets me into that game. I'm definitely going to try her out, and you guys will probably see at least a couple videos on her and, you know, my overall review of her as a character and stuff. So we'll see if... Uh, you know, that actually gets me into the game and stuff. Um, I guess there's also a Claptrap-themed story DLC coming out as well called The Mind of Claptrap. I could be wrong on that, but uh, that's just things I've heard or read today. And so that is interesting. Um, Borderlands the pre-sequel was obviously rather disappointing for me. And uh, I don't know if a sniper class character and... A story DLC can redeem it for me, but we'll see. Um, it's possible. There's still definitely some problems with that game and stuff, but we'll see how it goes. I did like that there was a way to find the hail now. I might try out the hail with Saronic Storm, or however you pronounce that, Athena, because I thought that the hail could have been a sweet weapon on her, but uh, there didn't exist a way to get it you know, legitimately before they made it drop from Iwo Jira or whatever, so um, I didn't ever really try it, but it might be interesting. I'll go ahead and take a look at the pre-sequel now that it has an Ultimate Vault, or Vault Hunter mode and a Sniper class character that may or may not be interesting. Um, her skill tree looks kind of cool, so we'll see if uh, that's actually the case. So the judge here, getting back to the actual point of this video, does seem to be pretty damn lacking. The Iron and the Maggie especially had much easier jobs working through these enemies. We'll see if we can knock his arm off in one shot here. No, see that's really bad. Not being able to knock a badass's loader's uh, arm off with a one shot one kill boosted deception shot is pretty damn poor. That is not something you would look for in a Jacob's weapon which are traditionally you know meant for one shot one kill power and stuff. That is pretty poor. Try to get some of those transfusion trails coming to me here, and we'll try to finish this guy off right quick. As you can see, it's just very lacking. That first rocket got out a little bit, 
earlier than I would have liked, but we finally managed to kill that guy. I am going to grab a couple grenades here because this last room is traditionally the most difficult, and we'll see if we're able to make that through that um, with the judge. And the judge, it's, it's just kind of disappointing. It'd be nice if it had something really to set it apart from a standard purple Jacob's pistol, but it doesn't. And it's kind of weird because the Fremington's Edge is at least, you know, better than your traditional sniper of its class and everything. But, um, I guess the Commerce is basically just a shock only element. Uh, I guess it's a Hyperion SMG, right? So maybe the Judge is just a TDR only barreled version of a Purple Jacobs pistol in some ways. And,. I don't know. It's just, it's not that special. And, I, again, I don't think it's meant to be incredibly special. I think it's meant to be just kind of a one-off weapon that you don't use for too long. And I guess I can see where it would be okay at that. You know, if you get this early in the game, it's probably going to be a very solid weapon for you if you're able to actually aim and stuff. Because its critical hit damage in the early game is probably enough to kill enemies fairly quickly. And... Um, I, it's probably decent at that, you know, it's, it's not like it's going to be incredibly bad at that, I wouldn't imagine. Go ahead and not catch fire damage over time or get exploded upon there. So that was good stuff. I was a little bit worried about trying to back away from that exploder while that fire grenade was there. I was worried that that might turn out bad for us, but we managed to avoid catching that fire damage over time. Guess we got a little bit lucky in that scenario. Get these guys slagged and we'll see if we can't kill both of these power loaders right quick. Ah oh, man, I wanted to kill that guy before I got eye blasted, but I wasn't quite able to do that. So that was a little bit of a shame for us, but uh, not a huge deal. We still managed to escape most of the wrath here. Retreating a little bit because we are in some trouble. I guess a benefit to the weapon is that it's probably going to be accurate enough at range to use. That guy doesn't have any more arms though, so we're just going to aim for his eye, which is a little bit harder to hit. But uh, looks like we were hitting it there before a grenade rudely interrupted us. Yeah, so in conclusion, the iron is just very, or not the iron, the judge is very lackluster. The iron I quite like, the judge not so much. It lacks quite a bit. Wow, too many eye blasts going on right now. See, I'm in a bad spot because it's hard to actually kill these guys now. And the judge is just leaving me high and dry here, not having the ability to kill these enemies with a deception shot. So that's kind of irritating to me at the moment. So we got one of them down. Let's see if we can't take out this uh, gun loader right quick. Missing some shots, that's bad news. Ooh, and we are out of transfusion grenades. Also bad news. So, we've got put in a bad spot by the judge. You know, complete lack of compelling ability and stuff. Alright, so we killed it. Now we can move on a little bit. Um, there will probably be a few more enemies for us to kill. Hopefully we're able to kill them a little bit easier than that scenario we got stuck in right there. It's okay. You know, it's it's bad, but it's it's capable, I guess. Eh, it's just so lackluster. I guess they couldn't really think of too many effects, you know, for Jacob's pistols um, that made them unique and everything, but, you know, in order to make more uniques. But um, this one, it really doesn't do anything special. Looks like we got in four-player difficulty mode somehow. I wonder when exactly that happened. Probably just right then. I'm not entirely sure. Um, sometimes that happens a little bit early, and I'm not sure if that ever has skewed my test results a little bit. Huh. 
So I guess Two Fang helped us out there, and we were actually able to kill that guy in a reasonable amount of time. But basically, in conclusion, the judge, it's pretty poor. I don't know if I want to say it sucks, you know, because it it can still kill things. I guess I would have to say it sucks. It's just not that great. I don't want to say Jacob's pistols suck because the iron is very fun to use, especially with that citrine skin. If you get it with the citrine skin, it's pretty damn powerful. And obviously the Maggie is very powerful and the greed is fun to use. But um, this particular Jacob's pistol, it just leaves a lot to be desired. I guess I would go ahead and say that the judge does kind of suck. It's just, it's not very good. And so as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.